Hi guys, this is Mike and this will be a shootout between the Strymon Flint version 1 against the Strymon Flint version 2. So I've had the version 1 for a couple of years now. I really love it actually. It's one of my favorite pedals of all times. I uh, really love how it sounds. also like that it's kind of like two pedals in one, right? You have this gorgeous sounding tremolo side and this absolutely gorgeous sounding reverb side. Uh, and yeah, so uh, Strymon came out with uh, version 2 a couple of years no, a couple of months ago actually, and I thought I'll test it and see what the differences are. And speaking of differences, uh, you should see an overlay on screen right now with all the differences I could find according to the manual and according to the internet. Right, so with some some of the differences are purely cosmetic, like uh, on the version one it says bypass, here it says on. Right, the LEDs look differently. Right, they are small on version two, but we have now multicolored LEDs. Uh, one thing that I really like uh, is pretty cool. I think that when you engage the tremolo, you actually see uh, the tempo flashing. Right, so the LED flashes in the right speed of the tremolo, which was not the case on version one. Um, uh, yeah, uh, the back plate is a little bit different as well. We have the input uh, selector, the uh, mono stereo switch now on the back plate. That wasn't the case on version one, right? So uh, you had to screw open the pedal and there was a dip switch inside. I did that one time when I bought this pedal because, you know, this is like the last pedal on my pedal board and in front of that are a couple of stereo uh, pedals. So I knew I wanted to have a stereo input screwed it uh, screwed it open one time set the dip switch to the correct position and that was that but i guess it's cool to have such a switch on the back plate right also on the version 2 we have uh, a usb port uh, uh, which you can use for firmware updates or a MIDI compatibility that's a big difference right so the flint version 2 is fully MIDI compatible Compatible, compatible, compatible. <laughs> and yeah, Flint version one is not. So I guess if you are a uh, MIDI player, that's a big thing. Or if you have a MIDI setup, I should say, that's a big thing, right? Let me set this up nicely, right? Okay. Um, one of the big things uh, that they changed is uh, the Flint 2 goes even slower when it comes to the tremolo than version 1. So let's quickly test that. This is the minimum speed on version 2. Yeah, so that's pretty slow and the minimum speed on version 1. Yeah, so there's a little bit of difference, right? That would be like here, right? Yeah. Uh, Sound-wise, can you hear a difference? Let me go to the 65 photo mode, which is a pretty uh, abrupt sounding tremolo, right? So yeah, intensity all the way up. Yeah, sounds pretty much identical if you ask me. Now let's go to the re reverb side, uh, which is more interesting in my opinion. Uh, 60s mode on both, uh, both are set to 12 o'clock, every control, right? <laughs> It does sound a little bit different, actually. Let me turn the mix to 3 o'clock, which is 100% uh, dry and wet, so equally loud. OK, 
Okay, so version two seems to be brighter. Uh, let me do something extreme here. Color all the way down. Pretty big difference. Now the opposite, color all the way up. Uh, let me uh, play another chord. <laughs> Listen to the clean guitar, okay? This is the clean guitar without any effect. There's something happening on V2. I feel it's a little bit uh, more trebly. Uh, Let's go to the 70s mode, if we can recreate that on this mode as well. Again, uh, all controls set to uh, 12 o'clock. Yeah, let me go to 3 o'clock, because then we actually hear the reverb properly. Mid-section seems to be completely different between those two pedals. There's definitely more mids, more higher mids on the Flint version 2. I mean, what I'm thinking right now is that the Flint uh, version 1 sounds more natural. The reverb seems to be behind the guitar, while here it sounds crisper, more pristine, I would say, more modern. But also the reverb you know, like challenges the guitar for the place in the spotlight, right? If that makes any sense. This reminds me of the Dick. I made a video of the Strymon Dick version one against version two and that I mean, in that video, I did hear the same things, like the version 2 sounded more modern, more pristine, but I actually like this kind of more natural sound of the version 1, and I actually kept version 1 of the dick. Uh, yeah, let's go to the 80s mode, which is my favorite, especially if you set the decay pretty high. Well, let's not overdo it. Maybe, you know what, let me... Let me set the color to like 11 on the version 2, because if it is a brighter paddle, maybe that's the reason why uh, uh, for these sound differences. And let me set the mix to like, yeah, like this 12, uh, 2 o'clock, right? Something like that. Should be pretty equal. I'm trying to make this as equal as possible. Right? Fair? Is that fair? Yeah. Okay, let's see. I'll set the decay all the way up, okay?
Okay, and the same thing on version one. What do you think? There is a sound difference. I mean, I think we can agree on that, right? There is a sound difference when it comes to the reverb side. I didn't hear that on... Let's go back to the tremolo quickly. Uh, again, intensity to 3 o'clock. Let's pick the first tremolo mode. The speed... Uh, we have to check quickly. like that right so this is just a tremolo and by the way if you're asking uh, don't even ask in the comment section if I uh, these pedals have like a boost function no the boost function is perfectly set to 12 o'clock there should be no boost on these pedals that's not the reason for the difference right okay uh, tremolo test number two <laughs> Even here there seems to be a difference, but it's not as uh, pronounced as on the reverb side. Let's go to the 60s mode quickly. That's the first time we encountered that. Um, the color didn't really help anything. That was not the problem. Let's go to the corner of this pedal. Right. By the way, this pedal has a pre-delay uh, option, which I tested. Uh, before this video and I mean to be completely honest I like it just the way uh, the pre-delay set to zero basically right so pre-delay is basically the, the difference between when you hit the strings and when you hear the effect coming in of the reverb right so the longer the pre-delay the longer the distance is between that right but set to zero like on the flint you couldn't change that it was instantly and I liked it uh, on this pedal as well. So that's, again, not the difference, right? They should sound identical, right? Yeah. So basically, I'm beat, right? I have no idea what to tell you. Uh, both sound great, right? It's not like one pedal is w definitely worse than the other. Uh, I mean, if you have Strymon Flint, if you have the version one, and you don't use MIDI, there's, in my opinion, really not uh, a lot of reasons to upgrade. Uh, I mean, yeah, it sounds a little bit more natural, more organic, I would say. Uh, maybe there's a slight like plastic equality in the sound 
which for me is typical of Strymon and which I don't hear on the Strymon Flint 2, so that's great. But this pedal doesn't sound as, yeah, natural, but it sounds crispier and more modern, more hi-fi, I would say, right? Uh, just speaking in like layman's terms, right? Yeah, so let me know what you think. Uh, I don't think I will upgrade. I will stick with version one. I'm going to miss the cool uh, tremolo uh, LED here. That's 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 like the main thing why I would upgrade. But you know that's not worth it in my opinion. Uh, Flint version two, uh, version one does everything that I could wish for. Uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Maybe you have better description abilities than me. Maybe you can totally say or write down in the comment section what those differences are that we are hearing. Uh, and maybe you have a theory why they are. Let me know if you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell. And have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye. With two eyes.